Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna take you through our brand new universal flash lake mode in firmware 3.0 for the Neo 3 Pro and AOS 2 Pro. Standard, the Neo 3 and AOS 2 Pro come included with Elenchrom Skyport, Godox, Profoto, Niwa, Pixapro, and several other flash receivers that make it the most versatile flash system in the market. With those receivers built in, it means you can wirelessly trigger your rotor lights from any existing transmitters you may already own. We do appreciate that many of you may have already invested in the standard Neo 3 or AOS 2 editions or even older rotor lights, such as the Neo 2, AS1, Anova, and even Titan series. This new universal flash shape function will allow you to trigger your older generation rotor lights that don't contain those Profoto or Godox receivers from a Profoto or Godox transmitter without requiring any receivers physically plugged in. So let me take you through how to do that. All you need to do is purchase just one Pro Edition Neo 3 or AOS 2, go into the flash menu, on that light, click the downward arrow, and on the top left of the screen in the preset menu, you'll now see an option that says slave out. If you touch that to enable it, it will now go green, meaning that it is active. Once you've enabled the flash slave, the first step in this process is to go back into the flash page and set the settings that you want your slave lights to respond to. All of the legacy lights from Rose Light all contain Elenchrom Skyport chips that default to Elenchrom mode speed, group one and frequency one. So what I'm gonna do in my pro light is go to Skyport speed on the top left box and just make sure that this is also set to frequency one, group one, which is the default for all rotor lights. Do make sure in your slave lights that you've not adjusted any settings and that they're also set to frequency one, group one. If you're unsure that they are, then it's worth doing a factory reset on your older light to set it back to default settings. Once you've set up your slave lights, the next step is to go back to the pro light and set the settings for the transmitter you're intending to use on your camera. In this setup right now, I have a Godox X Pro S for Sony. So what I'm gonna do in the top left-hand box of my pro is go to the setting that says sync Godox. Equally, if I was using Profoto, I'd set it to Profoto. Having set my pro to sync Godox, the Pro is now ready and waiting to receive a flash transmitter signal from a Godox transmitter. Because I've enabled flash slave in the menu, it's also ready and waiting to send a flash slave command to any rotor light listening that has an Elenchrom Skyport chip enabled. To give you a quick demonstration of this, I now have my Sony a7R5, my Godox X Pro S, my Pro set up, and all of my slave lights here set up on group one, channel one. So now let me do a demonstration. If you own a Neo 3 or AOS 2 standard edition and you use third-party transmitters like Godox and you'd like to have a slave functionality, there is a fantastic new feature, wired slave flash within firmware 3.0. Firstly, head on over to rotolite.com forward slash support. Make sure you download that latest firmware. Next step on a standard edition light is to go into the flash page, go to the top left box and select sync wired. With sync wired enabled, What's happening in the setup is that your standard edition Neo 3 is gonna receive a command to fire from the X1R receiver that I have plugged in here from Godox using the 3.5 mil cable right into the back. I have a Godox X1T transmitter on my camera, which connects to the receiver. And in the light, in the flash menu, if I press the downward arrow at the top and select slave out, make sure that I touch it so it's green and enabled, the light receives the command to fire and at the same time sends a flash slave command to any older rotor light with an Elenchron chip that's listening. The advantage of that is that it means I could have a Godox transmit on my camera and I only require one receiver, even though in this setup I have six lights connected. All of them will fire from my Godox transmitter. With the new universal flash slave feature, that now makes the rotor light Neo 3 in AOS 2 the most versatile flash system in the world. For more information, head on over to rotolight.com and otherwise hit like and subscribe and see you in the next one.